What's going on guys? Christian here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Steam Link on your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV box. Uh, so this will allow you to stream your games directly from your PC to your TV um, via Steam. So any Steam game can stream through this. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, the app is not actually on the App Store so we're going to have to go ahead and sideload it onto the device. So we're going to hop right into it and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the settings tab on your device. So that's in the top banner here, and we're just going to go all the way to the right, and then go down, and then go all the way over to where it says My Fire TV. Once you get there, you can go ahead and click on that. Then once you get to this settings pane, you can go down to developer options, click on that, and we want to turn ADB debugging on, as well as apps from unknown sources. We're going to go ahead and turn that on as well. Once you're done with that, you can go back to the home screen. From the home screen, we're then going to download an app called Downloader. You can get to this by going to the search bar, which is the little magnifying glass icon in the top left corner of your screen. Once you get here, you can go ahead and type in Downloader. Once you put a couple letters in, you can see it'll pop up in the suggestions, and you can go down and select Downloader. That's going to bring up a page with a list of apps and if it'll load, there we go. Um, it's going to be the orange app that says Downloader with an arrow pointing down. So you can go ahead and click on that uh, and then just get it to download. I already have it installed, so when I click it, it's just going to launch the app. But um, that's the app that you're going to want to download. So once you do that, you're going to either launch it right from your page, or if you need to launch the app, you can go back to the home screen if you get lost, and then go down to your apps and channels. Go all the way through that to the right here where it says see all. Click on that and then you can go ahead and scroll down. It should be down in here and you can find downloader somewhere in that list. You can go ahead and click it to launch it. So once you go ahead and launch downloader you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this. Um, so what we're going to do is hit the left arrow on your remote and go over to the sidebar and click on browser. Once you get into the browser, you're going to go to the right and then just go all the way up to the top until you have this entry bar clicked. Just make sure that's cleared and then type in bit.ly and double check that this link is the same. I'll have it listed down in the description below. Um, if it does change over time since I post this video, it will have been updated in the description. So then it's going to be STM LNK and then 2. And then you can just click on go or press the play pause button on your remote. That'll load up this page here as you can see. And then what you're going to do is just scroll here using the uh, arrows on your remote. It's a little touchy, so you just kind of got to go slow, and then just go down until you see Download APK. You want to get your red circle to highlight right over that, and then just click. And then once you do that, that's going to go ahead and download to your system. Um, you can tell it's doing that through the status bar there, and once that finishes, you'll pop up with this screen here. You can just go ahead at the bottom there where it says Cancel and Install. Make sure you have Install highlighted, and then click on that. That'll go ahead and install Steam Link onto your device. As you can see, that is installing. And then once it's done, you can open it right there. In addition to launching it from there, you can go ahead and launch it from your apps and channels as well, from going all the way over to the See All. And then once you get there, you just go through and it'll be in here as Steam Link. It's a little blue box with a controller in it, and you can go ahead and click on that. That'll launch it up on your system. And then from there it says Welcome to Steam Link. Just click to get started. Now if you have a Steam controller, you can connect that to your uh, system via Bluetooth. If not, um, you can pair other controllers following the manufacturer directions. So either way, whatever type of controller you have, you can do that there. Um, if you're having issues with that and you have the computer nearby or in the same room, you can also just use a controller that is linked to your computer 
because this is essentially just going to mirror everything on your computer screen to your TV. So the controller doesn't necessarily need to be connected to the Fire Stick itself. It can also be connected to the computer and it'll work just the same. So for this step, we're going to skip. Um, you guys can go ahead and link up your controllers there, depending on which type you have. We're going to continue and then we're going to connect to my computer. So go ahead and click on the device that you have Steam installed on. And then it's going to give you a pin that you need to type in on your actual computer itself. So if you go to your computer, it'll ask you for a pin, and then you just type this in. Once you hit enter on your computer, it's going to go ahead and test the speed connection between your computer and the link. So you can just let that run through. And then once that's complete, you'll see a screen that says network test complete, and it'll tell you what the streaming bandwidth was successful up to. You can go ahead and click on OK as long as that looks good. If um, you're having issues with that, um, you might just need to get an Ethernet adapter for either your Fire Stick or if your computer is not connected to Ethernet, that can also help. Or getting a uh, stronger router connection in your house. Um, it's pretty much, I would recommend Ethernet for the best performance, but if you can't do that, just make sure you have a really good Wi Fi signal. Uh, once you get through there, you're going to get a warning. You can just ignore that and click on OK. So once that's done, it says no controller detected just because I have my controller connected directly to my PC rather than to the link. So we can ignore that, but it is connected to my PC and it says we have a good connection. So you can either go down to the settings here if you ever need to change any of that. And there's also a support tab here as well. Whenever you want to start playing, you just click on start playing. That'll go ahead and connect to my computer, and then bam, as you can see, it brings up your Steam connection on your TV. And if you look at your computer, it also launches the same thing, and it's essentially just mirroring that screen from your computer to the TV. Um, if you use a controller, you can go ahead and just scroll around like normal. Um, you can go to library to launch your games. You can go to the store, whatever you need to do, and you can access it all right from there. So that's about all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.